During World War II, approximately 500 U.S. soldiers and supporting locals were held captive in a prison camp. Because of the suffering and concern for their safety, a volunteer force of approximately 100 U.S. soldiers was selected to rescue these prisoners. After the volunteers were assembled, the commanding officer instructed them something like this. This evening, you men meet with your religious leader. You kneel down and you swear to God that as long as you have a single breath of life, you will not let one of these men suffer one more moment. This successful rescue was a rescue from physical and temporal suffering. Should we be less valiant in our efforts to rescue those who could suffer spiritual and eternal consequences? Should we make less of a commitment to the Lord? As members of Christ's true Church, our commitment stems from the fact that the Lord suffered for every single one of us, the non-member, the less active member, even the sinner, and every member in our own family. I believe we can bring thousands to the joy, peace, and sweetness of the gospel. And then I believe we can bring hundreds of thousands, even millions, to their following generations. I believe we can succeed because this is the Lord's Church, and by virtue of our priesthood and our membership, we are called to succeed.